Hey, this is Chris from Mission Capital, and in today's video, I'm going to show you SAS Modeling 101. And the reason I want to make this video is because people often ask me, Chris, do you have a SAS model? And the truth is, no. A SAS model functions just like a regular three-statement model. The only difference is you have some changes to the underlying components. So I'm going to show you that now. So I have a business here on screen. It has zero operations. You can see there's no revenue, no cost, or no operating expense. So we're going to go down to an account on the balance sheet called the unearned revenue because a lot of a SaaS business can be driven from this account. Because if you think about it, if you pay for a subscription from a company, well, you're entitled to receive the benefits of that subscription for the length of a, of a, of a contract, which is usually about 12 months. And so from the company's perspective, they owe you that service, even though you might have paid up front for it. And that's what we can model in the unearned revenue account. So to make it simple, let's take one contract that is a 12 month contract and run it in our model and see what happens. So usually when you collect cash on a SaaS contract, it's called a booking. And so in this instance, let's just say that a customer here pays $120 for one year of a subscription to uh, some kind of software. So I'm gonna punch that in here and then let's see what happens. So we've got bookings of 120, but then we are modeling out the revenue over the next 12 months because it's a 12 month contract. So you can see that 120 is getting $10 worth of revenue each and every month. So let's go up now to our income statement. So I've got $10 worth of revenue each and every month because it's a 12 month contract. And I need to recognize the revenue for what I'm gonna be delivering that service, right? It comes back to the matching principle. But then when we go check on the cash, it's a little bit of a different story. Let's go down here to our cash flow statement. We've got the net income here, which is just our revenue, but then the changes in the balance sheet account are gonna true up our cash. So we can see at the end of the very first period, we get 120 in cash because we've been paid up front, but then through the rest of the year, we don't have any other cash. And so that's the difference between the revenue being accrual based, but then the cash being cash based. And that's modeled through the unearned revenue account. And so you can see up here in the liability section, here is that unearned revenue. All this is doing is linking back down to the schedule that we have below. And so you can see it goes from 110 to 100 to 90 to 80. What it's doing is it's reducing the liability each month by 10 because each month the company is providing $10 worth of value in terms of its software service. So there's a lot more that goes into SaaS in terms of other contract lengths and also the KPIs, but fundamentally speaking, to model it, you're just gonna be modeling a lot of contracts through the unearned revenue account, which sits on the balance sheet, and then your revenue will be reported on an accrual basis, but the impact of those contracts will be captured in the cash flow statement. So that's it for this one. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.